Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss longer run average cost curve and economies of scale. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS and R Studio. Let's begin with the introduction. We know that in the long run, all factors of production are variable. And therefore, there is no distinguish between total variable cost and total cost in the long run, because we do not have the fixed cost. Now, what is long run average cost? The long run average cost measures the average cost per unit of output over the long run. The long run average cost curve is an envelope that contains all possible short run average cost curves. So let's understand the graphical uh, presentation of the long run average cost curve. On horizontal axis, we have quantity and on vertical axis, we have cost. This is short run average cost curve one, then we have SRAC two and SRAC three. So we have three short run average cost curves and each short run average cost curve represents one specific level of fixed cost. So fixed cost for SRAC3 is higher than SRAC2, which is higher than SRAC1. Now let's uh, assume that firm wants to produce OA output. So here the short run average cost is minimized at point B, which is on SRAC1. If firm wants to produce OC output, then it has to increase the fixed cost and therefore the average cost, the short run average cost is minimized at point D, which is on SRAC2. And if a firm wants to produce OE, the firm uh, needs to increase the fixed cost again and therefore the short run average cost is minimized at point F, which is on SRAC3. Now, if we join these points B, D and F, we will get the long run average cost curve. See this green line, green curve that represents the long run average cost. So long run average cost curve is the lower envelope of an infinite number of short run average cost curves. And therefore, it is referred to as the envelope curve. Now let's understand the idea of economies of scale and these economies of scale. The downward sloping portion of the long run average cost curve represents the economies of scale. So if we increase the output, the long run average cost declines. You see the downward sloping portion. And therefore, producers have the incentive to increase the production because that will increase the profit. So that is the economies of scale. The, the, the downward sloping curve or the downward sloping portion of the long run average cost curve represents the economies of scale. Then we have these economies of scale. So these economies of scale is represented by the upward sloping portion of the long run average cost curve. So here, as the quantity of output goes up, the cost per unit, that is long run average cost, also increases. And therefore, producers don't have the incentive to increase the output. So downward sloping portion represents the economies of scale. An upward sloping portion represents the diseconomies of scale. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.